safety several times there and that's I think there's a possibly a bit of a grey area around where compliance ends and health and safety begins or vice versa what, what's your what's your sort of opinion or, or definition of that where compliance and health and safety meet up or is there a bit of a, a grey crossover area as well yeah look I think there's there's three things right and I'll put fire safety in the middle of that as well so the Building Act and the BWOF is about the practical equipment, structure and fabric of the building, right? So compliance about that should about the, be the material. Mm. When it comes to fire safety, it's the behaviour of people in a fire or an emergency. And when it comes to health and safety, it's the behaviour of people interacting, of course, with the building about anything other that's not those two things. Mm. So, for example, <coughs> if you see someone go... Okay, we've got a current WAF on the wall, all our systems are all perfect, they've been maintained, big tick. We've practiced our fire planning, we've done our, our trial of VACs a couple of times a year, we're all good with that. And of course it relates to the fact that these people have behaved in a manner using the equipment in the building that is there for their safety. They've used the fire exit door and they can get out. Mm. So two ticks. We then go, yeah, but you know what, on your stair... You don't have any nosing. It's an older building. It never did. And someone's gone, I nearly tripped, and I didn't feel so safe about that. So could we have some of those echoglohazo strips down the nosings just to make it that extra bit safer? Mm. Someone signs that off, the job gets done, and now you've got a health and safety issue ticked as well. So that's how the whole three could go together. Mm. So it's not so much grey, but that they build on each other in staircase because you can't say the tripping thing's okay if no one got out of the building because of the fire evac trial mm. hasn't been done. And if they did practice the fire evac and got trapped, then obviously the BWAF's wrong because the door didn't open. Yeah, right. Yeah, no, it's, it's a good definition that because they, in some ways they sound like similar things, you know, compliance and health and safety, but that, that's a really good way to... You know, just to, to clarify that, and I think that'll be um, quite useful to people that are, you know, that are that are in the industry or just wanting that little bit of, um, you know, explanation. Yes, look, if we were drawing it, you draw a big circle, right? And, yeah. and when I'm training, that's what I do: a big pie of health and safety ink. Like that's the bigger question, and then a semicircle in there is, you know, your fire safety, and it could be hazardous substances, asbestos, any other safety type issues. But fundamentally, at the core. We're talking about a building structure, mm. you know, not a boat. <laughs> so, you know, it's at the core of it. Yeah. And if the core's wrong, you've got some issues around health and safety per se. Yeah. Mm.